Good morning, Miss Cubine. Good morning. How are you? I am great. How about you? I'm doing pretty well. Are you ready to do our drawing today? I can't wait. Okay. So before we begin, I always make my kids say a little growth mindset art mantra. Um, so I'm going to project it up on the screen, hopefully. Here we go. Tell me when you can, can you see it? No, we just, I lost the whole, oh, there it is. Okay. It's really hard to see, but yes, go ahead. Okay. I am going. I am going. To try my best. To try my best. Mistakes. Mistakes. Help me improve my artwork. Help me improve my artwork. I should be really good then. <laughs> this is going. This is going. To take time and effort. To take time and effort. I refuse. I refuse. To give up on myself. To give up on myself. So we are going to draw a bowling ball that has been rolled down the bowling lane and is hitting bowling pins that are being moved. Okay. Okay. So All the right. first thing that we're going to draw is the bowling ball and I'm going to use a stencil of a cup for my bowling ball. I want the bigger circle of mine so I'm going to tip it upside down and I'm okay. probably going to make my ball not right in the middle but like kind of off center a little bit right there. Okay. I'm going to trace it like that. Okay. Okay. And then now we're going to go ahead and we're going to um, give the bowling ball its little like finger holes. So we're okay. going to two circles here and I'm going to put them kind of on a slant like it's like curving. So I'm going to put one circle there, one circle there. And I can't see what you're drawing. <laughs> we're going to do another little circle for the thumb hole kind of a little further down like that. And then we're gonna make it look like you can kind of see in them a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and just draw like a little crescent moon shape on each of the circles on the inside, like that. Okay. Okay, and then last but not least on our bowling ball, since it is a sphere and not a flat circle, we're gonna give it a little highlight reflection. So I'm just gonna kind of give it like a little oval shape reflection right there. Now our bowling pins are not stacked up anymore. They're kind of moving away. So none of them are gonna be flat on the ground. And they also are all round. So um, everything that you draw has to have a curve and not a straight line. Okay. Okay. This first one we're gonna draw it where it's like kind of just getting hit. So I'm gonna start about here and I'm gonna draw a short little curve like that. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw a little curve up like that. Like there. And then it's going to kind of curve in and up like an S curve is what it's actually called. So very okay. flat S curve. So it's going to kind of look like this. Like that. And we're gonna go all the way up to the top of the page. Some of our right. bowling ball bowling pins are gonna go off the page a little. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Then I'm gonna go over, I don't know, maybe like about two, two and a half fingers over. And I'm gonna right. do the same thing, but like a reflection. I'm gonna go down and out until I get to my bowling ball. Like that. All right. And then bowling pins have little stripes on them. And so we're going to draw two stripes. But again, make sure that they have a curve. So kind of like a smile line. I'm going to draw four lines for two little stripes like that. 
Sure. I'm gonna go ahead and make one bowling pin kind of flying off so you can only kind of see its bottom. So we're going to make a oval right there. And two curved lines coming out. Well, they're almost straight because you don't see very much of them. Okay. All right, then we're gonna draw another bowling pin kind of flying because it, when it hits it, they kind of all go dispersed. So this one, we're gonna make it a skinnier oval than the other one because it's at a different angle. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing as before. It's gonna go out and make like a little S curve. We're gonna draw a small oval for the top. I'm gonna make another S curve, so I'm gonna make it go out. And out like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm going to go ahead and give it some stripes, just like the other one. Make a little oval here, but because it's gonna be behind this one, you're only gonna see part of the oval, like that. Yep, yeah. going up until I can't make it go up anymore. Okay, like that. Okay. Okay, we'll do like a little circle off the side of the paper. Can okay. you see it? Mm -hmm. And then we'll go ahead and draw a little line up there. And then these guys, as they're getting hit, I imagine are probably pretty terrified. So I'm gonna give some of them some facial expressions. We're gonna go ahead and give it some really big eyes. Super raised. And then we'll give it two really little pupils like that. And then this one right here, we're gonna go ahead and give him some big eyes like this. And two little pupils. He's gonna have maybe some thicker eyebrows. I'm gonna fill those in. And then his face, or sorry, his mouth, we're gonna make kind of like a frowny shape. We're gonna make two lines going down on either side and then another frowny shape on the bottom. And I'm gonna give him a little bump bump for a tongue and then I'm gonna fill in the black space. So we're gonna yes. go ahead and do, this. maybe we'll do another one like this. So we're gonna go ahead and make a little curve like that. It's gonna be like this. Skip, skip, skip. Okay, then we're gonna do um, the same thing on this side. So I'm gonna go imagine how wide it would be. Mm -hmm. Uh, the same type of line on this side and I can't go up very far because I have this little guy. Give it this this one is going to be more scared than the other one so its eyes are going to be shut like this and it's going to be shut really tight so I'm going to give it some like little wrinkles on its eyes because he's squinting so hard and his eyebrows yep like that and his eyebrows are going to be really close together because he's really scared. This mouth is gonna be kind of like a wavy mouth like that. Yeah, and then we'll do a really big bump bump with the tongue and then we'll color it in. 
Okay, and then I didn't ask you this before. Do you have any colored pencils or markers or anything like that? I do. I do. Okay, perfect. Okay, we have one last thing that we got to do is we've got to draw the horizon line, the line where the um, brown meets like the wall. So I'm going to use a ruler, but you can use a, you can just freehand it or you can use um, any kind of straight edge will work. The edge okay. of a book, the edge of a paper. And okay. I'm just going to make about there. Yeah. yeah, it's really cute. Yay. Nice. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. See you later.